And so Travis Scott goes MIA and Kendall Jenner is getting dragged on Twitter. Hey guys, it's Marad Marodi. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video and back at again with another Kardashian related video because if somebody's not getting dragged, then they're going MIA somewhere else and people are talking about it. If you haven't subscribed, click that button for daily and consistent guys, 365 days of the damn year. And head over to my Patreon guys, one pound a month for exclusive content that I do not put up in here. I would appreciate it. And thank you so much to those who have. The link is in the bio below. Thank you so much guys, subscribe to the Patreon. So we have Travis Scott who has deleted his Instagram and has gone MIA simply because he was getting trolled viciously, let's just say, the word vicious, you know, over his Halloween costume. Now I feel like that in itself is quite sad, but also quite funny. Um, he doesn't look that bad, I feel, but he pulled up all the stops to impress people. And according to comicbook.com, the star was met with jabs and mean comments from fans online. It is claimed he lost it when one compared the costume more to a cockroach than the caped crusader. His fans hoped he'll be back before long with new music and around the corner. And yeah, I don't really think it's a cockroach, but I can see why people will say that. I guess the color is a little bit brown, um, like a dark tint of brown as opposed to black. But at the same time, I don't think the costume is that bad. I'm, I, I don't think it's that bad that warrants so many people to drag the guy to the point where he had to deactivate his account. I feel like, you know, people had just have too much time on their hands. We also have Kylie Jenner, who was dressed up as the Power Rangers with all her friends. They're clearly looking like the rainbow. Okay, cool, great. And we have Kendall Jenner. Drenna. We have Kendall Jenner who um, was getting it online because she was hosting a Halloween, not Halloween, her birthday party, I believe. And people were upset that during a pandemic, we should have been doing all of this. What is going on? It's not really fair. You know, Megan did the same thing. Cardi B did the same thing. The 40th birthday bash that like Kim did, which yes, people people quarantined that people are upset about. You know, they just have a lot about it. And what I'm seeing online is, especially when it comes to the state of Atlanta, people just don't really care. They're not really doing as much. And there's no masks, there's no rules and so forth. So the way I see it is this. Yes, the US are dealing with this terribly when it comes to COVID, but apparently, statistically, the UK is actually dealing with it worse than the US. So yeah, I, it is what it is. But she's getting dragged not only for the party, but the fact that there's a video going around where she's blowing in to the candles. And as she's doing that, the person that's holding the cake next to her is wearing a mask. And you can see that people that work for these people are literally sacrificing their lives during a pandemic so that they can have fun, service workers. And that is what I don't like about it. If you're gonna do this whole party situation, have 10 to 50, 80 people in your house you know, during the peak of new lockdowns and so forth, don't have service workers there who are sacrificing their lives to be there for a paycheck. Do it yourself, man it yourself. You have, the, you have enough money to man something yourself. I don't think it's that hard. You have, like, you can maybe bring people to, prepare everything, then they can leave when everybody else comes. Why are you blowing, you know, your dirty breath upon these candles and my guy is wearing a mask next to you? You can, you can be wearing two masks, is that breath? Okay, let me relax. But still, the idea of wearing a mask, you know, to prevent himself and this girl's blowing, I just feel like it's just not a good look. And if anything, leave the flipping cake on the table and blow that up, blow out the candles without nobody. Like, I just, I just don't like that because we have somebody sacrificing their life because they may be seen lesser than because they have less amount of money and it brings in these classist, racist kind of, classist, racist kind of conversations, let's just say. I'm not saying kind of was racist, but I feel like it brings this kind of syst systemic kind of conversations and it's food for thought. But let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this, subscribe to the channel, click that button and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.